What's up, everybody? Welcome to the History Hyenas. I'm Chrissy D. That's Yanni P. We're here. Let me just start off with something light, okay? I tweeted out the other day that I was going to vote for Andrew Yang um, because he's the most American president we're ever going to have because he was made in China. And pe <laughs> people have been tweeting at me that, yes. that he, he, yeah. was, he was born in America, not in China, that I'm stupid. It's like, yeah, I'm a fucking comedian. I'm joking. I'm very aware of the rules of this country, and I understand that the rules are that you have to be born in the United States of America to become president, and we've never had a president that wasn't born in America besides Obama, and that's just the truth. <laughs> so let's just, just want yeah. to start it. That, that was also Wei Zhang Jian, Zach. Wei Zhang Jian. And also ChristyComedy.com. I got live dates coming up. Yeah, Giannis Papp. Historyhyenas.com for t-shirts. Giannis Papp is comedy.com. Come see me and Mike Emoji Face at Gotham Comedy Club February 21st and 2nd yeah. and Uncle Vinny's uh, February 28th and 9th. If you didn't catch Mike Emoji Face with Chris, you'll catch him with me. Yeah. He needs to pick up the pace. He needs to pick up the no, pace. Yeah. Mike Emoji Face will be with me in Hamden, Connecticut on January 24th and Atlantic City on January 25th. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to have him and Zach and Venetia open for me. Yeah, just have everybody open for you because here's the truth. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could anybody could do comedy now. It doesn't, you know, if you could sell tickets, they'll put you in. You could do stand-up. It doesn't matter, but the reason, the incentive to come see us is because we've been doing stand-up for 10, 12 years, some of us longer, and it's like, it's our backbone, so you're going to see an actual stand-up performance, okay? And then maybe we'll come out and we'll bring Mike on and we'll do a podcast, you just don't know, but just know when you come watch us perform, you're going to see actual comedians doing comedy in the space it was created for. Oh, I'm here and when for you go it. see other people, it's like they, you love their podcast, but what they're doing is, is a nice thing. But, you know, it's just they, they weren't born to do it where I was. We're, we're two kids who are, me and Giannis are two kids who are in the closet gaze, and we've been using that energy. We've been pushing it down. That's why we have big triceps, but now we're letting it out on stage. Dead ass. What were you about to say? No, I was, I was happy to be working with you guys. But I also don't know what pick up the pace means. But we're just <laughs> pet hand. I know it's funny. I don't know what it is. We're just know. yelling about it. I just said it the other episode and it was funny. Yeah. yeah. It's like I know I'm slow. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. We just want you to be safe. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And um, you know, I've just realized I like having Venice here around because I just need to be a little more Greek. It's nice to have someone around who's Greek who makes me feel a little more Greek. Yeah. It's what, yeah. You know? Are we going to Greece? Uh, yep. In September? We should. We're going to go to Greece. We're going to Greece, and then we're going to Germany. Yeah, but here's the thing with Greeks, is you like having Benetti around, but you don't like when she challenges your authority. Because no, there can only be one guy. Greek in charge. There's only, look, there's only... Well, I'm a German kid. I'm very, I'm very okay with kind of dispersing. I, I have a team around me, and we make the decision, and we came up with a lot of good ideas that were thwarted back. But you, Wei Shun Chi, and I'm just kidding. But the Greeks, you want to just do it all one person. You think you guys fucking know everything because you're all inbred mutants. Wei Song Xian. Wei Song Xian. Wei Zhong Zhen. We're, uh, look, we're going to discuss the Julian calendar. Yes, it's bit, yeah. Yeah, and I love yeah, the Venetia. Yeah. I want to take, I want to have robot Venetia open for me. Yeah. <laughs> Malaka. Yeah. That means hello in Greek, and Malaka means, well, Google. Yeah, I just. Oh, I'm here for it. Yeah. Yeah. And where's Yaya's cookies? I brought Yaya's cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the same way Yo. the same way yeah. that Vobot, that robot Venetia makes me put on the headphones is the same thing our patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys should make you guys want to join it because the extra there's yep. all there's things that can only be heard on patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys that can't be heard anywhere else. So it's like I have to put the headphones on to hear Robot Venetia. You have to go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and just pay us five dollars a month at the lowest to hear more and more great content. Whoa. It's what you guys should be doing. Yeah. Let's talk about patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Okay, boy, yeah. What was that? That was it's what it is? In Korean. Nice. Nice. I like to, Zach just mixes it up. Yeah. We needed a little Korean in our life. Yeah. But patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. I want you to explain, like, because I think it's nice for people to understand what it, how cheap it really is. Mm -hmm. to, 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 first of all, that's what we want for Christmas. Yes. Also, you can order, you know, if it's somebody's birthday, get them a Patreon. Yeah. Episode for their birthday. It's person. a nice gift. It's literally, it's literally at the lowest, it's $60 a year, $5 a month. 
You know, what are you going to buy them? Scratch offs? Buy them this. Now, let's explain. Six, so, $60 for the year. Mm -hmm. Let's say me and Chrissy came to your town, right? How much are the tickets for, to, to go see? Tickets it? for us to. Uh, uh, for us? Not good. Nate Bargatze, because those are 300 Those are 300 for us? I'm, uh, uh, we want the working man at the show. We're going to be about 30 bucks. Plus, you got to buy two drinks, food. You're going to spend at least $100 to come see us. That's a good deal. That's a good deal for the year. We just listen to us for 60 bucks for the year. Yeah, 30 bucks. That means you would buy me and Chrissy a couple drinks. If we came to your town for the yeah. year. If you guys get a really good job, if like I know some of our fans even graduated from community college, you can even go up and do $25 a year. $25 a month. How much is that per year, Mike? I, I know it's $250 for 10 months, but I can't think. Um, I'm just asking Mike because he's, he's a Chinese kid here. Well, Neil DeGrasse. How much? 300. 300. And Neil deGrasse Wei Tyson. Song Xian. Neil deGrasse Tyson told us on the last episode do not memorize anything you can just look up. Yeah. 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 The Wei Song, it's low, by the way. This, oh, the sound effects are low. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. We're, are, what's, so we're just farting with so Neil here now? And to quote the great Angelo Lazada, RIP, Neil deGrasse Tyson, we were just informed, is half Puerto Rican, half black, so that means he's Dominican. Yeah. That's Angelo Lazada's joke, one of Wei his, one of his jokes on, um, yeah. on uh, uh, what's the... One good thing about him passing his way is we won't have to Def hear that Jam. joke anymore. Yeah. Wei Zhang Xian. He would have appreciated that joke. Zach, I don't have enough energy to go turn that down, but it's way too loud in my ears now. <laughs> I mean, you kicked it up all the way like you were about to show me your demo. Yeah. You like kicked it up like, yo, hold up. Here it is. Ready? One, two, three. Uh. Do, you, do you go uh, uh, uh before you start? Uh, I go yeah. Yeah. Nice. I mean, kids can't. Nobody can just start a rap song. They got to start with a couple of uh. What noises uh, can make? Uh. Like a Michael Jackson. Uh. Right. <laughs> he goes, uh. uh. Yo, Jan's got a new track out. Yes. Yeah. Can Gold we hear star. a little bit of it? Let's pull yeah. it up. We're gonna get Jan. We're gonna get Jan the Squeak on here. By the Jan way, Squeak. He should change his his R and B name to Jan the Squeak. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a funny fucking name. I think I think it's we can market him on here and we can blow him up. Yeah. And he fits in a mouse hole. Yeah. He does. Jan the Squeak. Jan the fucking Squeak. Mike got my daughter a Christmas gift and I really appreciate it, Mike. Mike. You're Mike. Yeah. Is a good-hearted kid. Yeah. I, who needs to pick up the pace? He needs to pick up the pace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mike on stage when he's not picking up the pace, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna hit him in the back of the knees with a wiffle ball bat. <laughs> so what, what we gotta do. You know, you know what's funny about all the things you say? Yeah. Andrew Agus is gonna go make that into a meme, and you're gonna forget you said it. It's what it is. Oh. I'm gonna black out. Because Andrew Agus, he made a, he made him. First of all, he gave you great life advice. Yep. And then secondly, he made a meme of you hitting Jan as a pinata, and you didn't remember where that came from. I had no idea. But it's something that you said. It's something I said. You said you wanted to hit Jan and see if if if, if estrogen or testosterone. Yeah. Came out. It's like people get mad at me at the things I say. I am responsible for my words, 100. percent But just know, I don't know what I'm saying half the time. I'm in a blackout, but I'm still responsible for it. But when you're like, you said that about me, I'm like, I, I probably did. I'm sorry. I don't know. This is why I like Jan this week. Because he messaged us, he said we were both getting a kiss in the mouth. Yeah, for something we wrote, and he's just—he's got a good sense of humor and he goes with it. I don't yeah. think he's gonna mind that we're calling him Jan the Squeak because I think he's aware that he's five foot two. Yeah, he knows. He's Not like, at all. People have told him. I heard. I heard some stuff about you on History Hyenas, and he just left. Yeah, yeah, he's a good fucking hearted kid who's got a sense of humor and he's got some talent. He's got some talent, some Kids real talent. So here's talent. a uh, here's him singing on the last song. Yeah. This is long. No, I want to hear his new track. This is it. Yeah, let's hear it, and then I want to watch this video. For the moment, Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Him in the car is hilarious because he's not above the steering wheel. Yeah. He looks like he just stole his parents' car. Yeah. And he's making a video. Kids Rewind. in my car seat. Rewind it a little back. Rewind it a little I can't back. see it. Yeah, can, can we put it up so, he, so Chrissy can see it? Okay. Yeah. Let's look at him. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. 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 I mean, his chin is below the steering wheel. Yeah, the girl who came over, he looks like a giant next to him. Yeah. <laughs> Good singer. Yeah, it's a good song. Is he signed to a record label? What's going on with him? So, um, it's a good song. Me, him, and our other friend Mike Mraz, uh, we actually 
on December 20th at our first show is our official new uh, rap group called Scary Kids. We're going to be dropping stuff soon. We're going to come on here, show you guys some of the new music, yeah. and just talk scary shit. Now, Absolutely. I want to hear the other yeah. song. Let me hear the other song with you and him where you go, uh, there for you, there for you. Oh. That one. Do you have a video of that? No. You need some help with marketing. Venetia, get on these fucking kids. We'll get to the Julian calendar, but we're in the history hyenas, Venetia. I want to hear the song. Yeah, we did the business. We said what you told to say about the Patreon, and yeah. we did it. I just want to hear one more. And we fucking... shouted out our dates. Yeah. So now I just don't want to listen anymore. You know why she stopped I'm me? I'm having an aller allergy, allergic reaction to the almonds in that fucking bag. You know why she's stopping me? <laughs> she's stopping me. I'll tell you why she's stopping me. Because she's having an affair with Zach. It's what it is. And she doesn't want him to leave this podcast and ha make it and a musician. Yeah. Now I want him to make it so we can just kick him off the podcast. Yeah, just get <laughs> both of them are out of here. Yeah, I just now I want to support your music just so when we fire you, you want to leave anyway. I'm just kidding. All right, let's yeah. hear it. I want to hear the fucking song. You should make a video for it, Zach. It's a good song. Uh, what, this one or the last one? There for you. Yeah. This is a good fucking song. This is a really good song. Yeah. People in their cars right now, they appreciate Zach. I just want to give another side of Zach so, so they don't want to kill him. They want to kill him. Yeah. Pause it for one second. The last episode that, what did we do? That was the 100th episode? I mean, the sound of that started so fucking hot. It's part of who we are. I understand it's our brand. But then it got normal. And then the people are going to want to kill Zach. But now that they hear this music, they're going to be like, you know what? The kid is talented. Let's He's talented hear it. Yeah. It's great. I got an idea. What if we made a video for that with me and Chrissy? Yeah. What if me and Chrissy, yeah. what if we did a History Hyenas with that and we're holding up Jan the Squeak? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if Jan the Squeak is on Chrissy's shoulders for the whole the fucking whole video, video? Yeah. And, that, and I'm just shaving down. I'm shaving down Isis like Georgie Animal Steel. Yeah. I just got a razor and I'm yeah. just shaving his back. Yeah. And we sing I'm There For You. Yeah, I love it. What do you think it's of like that? Like an Eric Andre like thing. It. Yeah. I like it. And we're just, every time we squeeze Mike, he sings I'm There For You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. And then Vinity is just there like going like this, disapproving, disapproving. <laughs> yeah. I just came up with a great fucking concept. Yeah. We're there for you. Let's do it. Where can the people listen to the song, Zach? That's on uh, Spotify, SoundCloud.com. What's it called? Jan the Second. That's called There For You. The other one is called Lone Star featuring AC Lincoln. So check that out. There it is. I want to support Zach's career because I think they got talent and I like it. And yeah. It's good, and I want to get the squeak on here. Yeah, the squeak's going to come in an episode. Yeah, I like Jan. Yeah, so we're going to beat him like a pinata. Yeah, and the next show we're doing, <laughs> J Jan the squeak and, 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 and Isis are going to open the show up. You guys are going to start performing as the people are coming in. Yeah. And that's what it is. Yeah. And, or we could just make Mike do stand up and them do music at the same time. Yeah. And I don't know when. And I don't see know, who wins. Yeah. And I don't know when we're getting the date because the date, I thought it was going to be February 8th, but it's not now. Yeah. We're not. So I don't know when we're doing it, but the next big show will be at the Gramercy Theater in February sometime. Does it even matter? I mean, do the people even know what's coming? We're coming. We're coming. You can't stop us. They don't know. Somebody don't said you can't spell Chrissy without SS, and it still I made my day. It's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah. he goes, remember, you can't spell Chrissy without SS. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and it just I just want to say on record, I don't support anything the German Nazis did. No, here's I'm the thing. I'm just kidding around. It's a character piece. Here's the thing. If you're tuning in for the first time, we truly like truly love everybody. Truly. We're truly. allies to everybody. But the truth is. Chrissy does love the uniforms. You like the fashion. So that's the thing is you're being honest. You're like, I hated what they stood for. Right. But, the, but Hugo Boss knows how to fucking make a uniform look snug and tall. It's fucking cute. Let <laughs> yeah. me tell you something. The Hugo Boss unis are cute, and the Jeeps they drove were fucking cute. They were BMWs. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it was a tactic, like when they marched into Greece, like mine and Venetia's ancestors were going like, oh, my God, it's a scary Nazis, but we were also going like, work it, girl, because those <laughs> yeah. fucking boots and those are kaya. Yo, they yeah. all were had on fry boots. Because tell the people what you, what, you, what you called me today. Was what? it was it baby gorgeous? A baby gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he me, texted let me. Let me. Yeah. Actually, what I said. This yeah. is my exchange. We'll say the Christy. text exchange. Let me find it right now. Um, hold on. He, he, he calls me baby gorgeous during the day. He's yeah. a person, he, he's, you're just a person who, 
your feet are, sh are really shaped like high heels. Yeah, so it'll say, so here's, here's how we start. Here's, here's like, you know, today I said, hey, bubs, I can do Tim. I'll roll with you because I got car service. Taking me later. What do you want to leave, babes? And he wrote, now, Dylan is good for 1230. I said, okay, great. Can you come scoop me? And you said, babe, hon, yes. And I said, okay, baby, gorgeous. <laughs> and, then, and then you said, text me when you're ready. And then I wrote, ready, hon. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just how we roll. Yeah. Merry yeah. Christmas to everybody out there. Happy holidays. Happy, uh, what do we call it? Happy harmonica. Yeah. Happy New Year. When's this come out? Happy fucking New Year. So these people have already had their Christmases. Yeah. Well, Christmas is a week long for me. We had a nice little party up at the Verzies. Uh, me, Sal Volcano, Chrissy. It was a nice little dinner party, and we had a good time. It was so much fun. Thank you to Paul Verzi, who will be our guest soon. The funny, hilarious Paul Verzi, also one of my best friends in the entire world. Um, so we had a good time. Guys, what are you guys doing for the holidays, Venetia? I'm here. I'm in New York. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You're here for it. I'm here in New York. I'm spending time with Yaya. She's got wow, cookies. Wow, the cookies. Yeah, yeah. she's good. we're going to make cookies, and we're just going to chill and exchange gifts. When are we going to meet your other brother? Oh, Peter? Yeah. Uh, I'll make that happen. Yeah, I'll I'm here for that. Yeah, I'm okay. here for that because your other the other brother's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys, having... that's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a good time. That was funny. yeah. He was having a really good time. Yeah. Now, oh. Mikey, what are you doing? Did you find a place yet? Uh, no, I'm in the city. I don't know. Why yeah. don't you go home for the holidays? Because I, my grandma's dead. There's nowhere to good go. Good point. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened? She listened to this podcast. Or no, yeah. she just was on a roof. Dude, laugh. <laughs> She yeah, so hard to fell off the roof. <laughs> you couldn't pick up the pace. Yeah, pick so. up the pace, Mikey. No, uh, well, I hope you find something. I'm going to call you and text you on the holidays. I wish I could bring you to my party, but I'm going to my um, wife's family and shit like that. So, oh, no worries. But we are going to do a ha we're going to do a, a history hyenas um, Christmas party. We're going to, we're going to Pilos, which is yeah. a very good Greek restaurant yeah. in New York City, and we're going to have some Greek food, and it's going to be nice. And uh, everyone's going to get gifts from Venetia. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have yeah. something to do this yeah. week. Yeah. Just get everyone a fucking gift. Okay. Yeah. How are you doing, Chris, with uh, him leaving? It's, it, you know, move, it's one of, wait, move. real quick. I just want to say, so you don't have nowhere to go on Christmas Day? Come by me. Okay. My mom and my dad and stepmom, Barney Rubble and Betty Rubble, are, are cooking dinner. And it's going to be me. That's uh, awesome. Me, Barney Rubble, Betty Rubble, and and uh, Pebbles, my daughter. Yeah. And then and then and then yeah. And then we'll bring get, Mike. And then we'll bring Mike. And yeah. then yeah. <laughs> what time does your dinner start? Um, I don't know. Come over whenever you want. Yeah. Sure. Three o'clock, four o'clock, whenever you want. Just come out to Bay Ridge. I got a fucking love there you sectional. Go. You got something to do on Yeah, Love Sack. Yeah. By the way, shout out Love Sack. They finally messaged me. Wait, don't, don't. No. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Don't. Love Sack didn't say anything, but I support your product. Yeah, no. Uh, they, yeah, they got us. You guys got to start sponsoring us because you know what? We're doing real numbers now, and we're doing a lot for them. Yeah. So we're going to start calling it, we're going to start calling it a bean bag real soon, unless you guys provide a check. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be called, it's going to be called the Love Shack soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to be called the Love Suck. You love, fuck you. If you don't start giving me money. When they a little bit of money, listen, you've been going a long time, unbeknownst to you, we've been doing a lot of promo for you. We've been doing a lot of promo, but now you need to give us the money. You have to talk to my uh, representative, Vanity Greenberg. She is <laughs> on uh, talk to you about a good deal that you cannot refuse. By the way, just real quick, and then I, I'm going to talk about Giannis's move. The SNL that came out with Eddie Murphy hosting, when he did Gumby, oh, I mean, yeah. the, the funny, that's what it is. Like, it's so, it was so to on the nose, raw, funny. Yeah. Because there was no PC bullshit. It was just like, hey, it's comedy. We're going to do whatever we want to do. Don't take offense to it. Change your channel if you don't like it because it's funny. We don't worry about who we're pissing off or not. And that's the way it should be. Yeah. And that's why it was so great. Yeah. Because he was calling people black bastards and as a Jewish guy. And it's like, you could just do that. How funny was you know? what he called it? Colin Joe's headshot. He called yeah. Colin Joe's headshot. <laughs> he was taking shots at everybody. Yeah. And it's like, it's fine. Do you think he riffed that or do you think that was. Uh, I think he was. No, the way Colin Joe's was laughing, I yeah. believe that he was riffing. He was riffing a little yeah. bit. Yeah. He also said shit on it. Yeah, he said shit. He yeah. He shit. Yeah. But I think that was uh, an inverted. Uh, it was just funny. It just reminded you of a time when SNL was really about the cast and not so much. They didn't the, have to outsource the gals, the guest appearances, and the and the 
and the and the guests of the week, you know, the guest star of the week. Yeah. It was a time where people used to tune in for the characters yeah. from the cast. I loved it all. Even like even like when Chappelle and Rock and everybody came on and it's like and then the 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 Beck Bennett kid tried to come and he was pushed right off. It's like yeah. it's hilarious. It's funny. It's like we cuz it's about the black guys right yeah, now. Yeah. I get it's hilarious. So like I saw some white people on Twitter getting mad like how is that not racist? It's like shut up. Yeah, it was it's fun. comedy. It was it's fun. great. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut it was a great fuck fucking up. episode. The only the only bad parts of that episode Episode is when the cast, actual cast, was doing it. <laughs> Those are the only bad parts of the episode. Is when the cast was on. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's like cast. get them out of here. Plain I mean, and sip. There's a little truth to that, unfortunately. You know? Yeah. Weekend update is good, and yeah. then it's like the rest is like, uh, d d d get them the fuck off the show. Yeah, get some. Fucking Forget about having a cast, SNL. Just get the greats on to come on Why Eddie Murphy. Why is Tyler Fisher not on that fucking show? Have Eddie Murphy no. and Will Ferrell and Jimmy Fallon on whatever you want. Have them come on every once a week. You're going to get a big celeb to come on, and you're going to get 10 of them. And they're going to do all the sketches. Or just, Enough with fucking having these... Nobody knows what you're talking about or doing anymore. Or just get, look at get it. some talented, talented sketch performers on there like they used to. Yeah. Just that's it. That's Malaka. it. Just, they, they never outsourced before because the, the they girls are the good. cast. The girls are really the girls are great. Who are the girls' names? Aidy Bryan and Kate Bryan. McKinnon are insanely talented. Everybody else, it's like if I can do what you're doing, Melissa that's a problem. York. Mel Melissa's very funny. Yeah, they're all talented, but yeah. they don't get used. Yeah, they don't get used. They gotta use them, and like, yeah, use them some more so they're busy and they don't have to do stand up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, because that's another thing we have to deal with as stand ups. It's like these guys come on, and it's like you just take, you just shit. Wait, I mean, you just bomb and you take a shit on stage, and then that's stand up. Yeah, because they're really, piece. they're really talented at the sketch stuff. They're excellent at the sketch stuff. But that's a different thing. It's a different thing. Like, everyone's just doing stand-up now. It's devaluing stand-up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't, I don't mind. I don't complain. I don't care. Absolutely. Because yeah. whatever, but. I'm not watching SNL again until they cast Shane Gillis and Steve Bannon. That's <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> cast. <laughs> By the way, when Shane goes, we're getting Shane goes on. Right? Shane's coming on, yeah, because Dude. we've had him on, and he's been on enough other podcasts where you know people are not going to come after us. We have him on; he's yeah. been washed. Yeah, but here's the funny thing: we're getting a clean Shane Gillis clean now Shane. because we couldn't get him a few months ago because it was still a little dirty. He was, he was, he was still a little, he was a little too hot to touch. A little too hot to touch for us right now. We're in build mode. Yeah, he okay, but now we're just we, he's been cleaned off. Yeah, he's had a little heat and not the good type. He had, he had that. Police heat. He had yeah, yeah. Much, he had the, the heat from the fuzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't need, you know, we didn't need these guys coming through our episode. No, we didn't need any Chinese rights groups coming after us. <laughs> yeah, we didn't need that. Yeah, because although the Chinese are putting Shane. Muslims in concentration camps, and it's just what it is. Yeah, that's we'll just really, look over that. That's a Wei really just look over that. So yeah, that's you know, a, it's a really bad thing. Yeah, we'll happened. look over that, and we'll just say, yep, you can't say anything about Chinese people. Whatever you want to say, that's okay. That, yeah, you know, that's something that like needs more attention, dude. That's a really horrible thing that's happening. Uh, in China, just fucking go Google it. Sure, it's it's brutal and it's scary because it reminds it, it's very it, it's it, yep. it's reminiscent of the 1940s, and I can't believe that that's happening in this nope. day and age. No, 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 because and the, new, it, the news know, that's not what our news is about. Yeah, Venetti is about to tell us. Are you googling it? Venetti is about to like. Oh, wait, you want us to take a like shot? Dylan Dealer, yeah. Like, like yeah. she's like, yes, I'm work here. here for it. I'm on a work trip. Yeah, robot <laughs> Venetti. Yo, Zach's got a thick cut of beef in his pants. Yeah. Look, Zach's got his legs spread open, and I could see his fucking cock and balls. Yeah. He's wearing his brother's pants. Yeah. yeah. He's look wearing Jan's he, pants. They're look at tight. what he's wearing today. I, I, it might as well be Jan's pants. I thought they were mine, and I got here. I was like, these are not mine. Yeah, well, but you I got a nice thick thighs. What I like about Zach is we haven't even noticed that he lied to us about his age at the beginning, just like Jen Bagakis. How old are you? He's 24 now. I didn't lie. I think you guys just kind of forgot or nodded right. it off. That's and then, probably true. Yeah. Chrissy started calling you a 24-year-old kid, but you were 22 at the time. Did you see yeah. the other meme? Did you see the other meme that was sent to us with Rafael Deluc on the turntables and Jen Bagakis' <laughs> head as one of the records? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that was because that was also something you said. What did I say? <laughs> you said he's got her head on a, in the turntable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. You're truly Chrissy Blackouts. It's what it is. You learned how to black things out after you got molested. It's a real tool of, of coping. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just, and it works in my career because, like, I can black out the good shows and the bad shows, and I don't get this inflated ego because I don't, I don't remember anything I've done. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know if it's good or bad. I just don't remember. I'm just, every day I wake up, it's like 50 first dates. I'm like, what am I doing here? I'm Drew Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> we all got our coping <laughs> mechanisms that we need to use. Yeah. You yeah. you black it out. Yeah. Mikey drowns his sorrows in a Slurpee. Yeah. Me, I pass out. Yeah. Zach goes and hangs out with the squeak and makes a rap song. And Venity has sex with black guys. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. 
<laughs> you, you're missing the good robot with a teardrop. Zach, oh, shit. Zach just crushed that. He went, I agree with that. Because <laughs> you got to wear the headphones for the drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Dead sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, I have to pee, Venetia. Am I allowed to pee? No, no you can't pee. The prostatitis is back. <laughs> Definitely fuckboy status. I was gonna, <laughs> well, I was gonna ask you, you're like uh, about the moments of 2019 on the pod, but I feel like you don't remember shit. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> What's been my favorite moment in 2019 when we interviewed Neil deGrasse Tyson? That was a, that was a really great. That moment. was a great moment, and I think we were on fire that episode. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to get picked up by Sirius now. That's going to be the new thing. Is Sirius XM is going to pick us up as a show. They better offer us some real They better offer us some real dough. And we're just going to have to push out, you know, we're going to have to push start pushing people out. We're just going to be the new morning show. I mean, because let's be honest. <laughs> be Sam Roberts. I mean, let's just be honest, you know? Oh, God. It's, it's, it's a truth. It's truth. Yeah. Here of Chrissy That's here. Okay. I mean, come on, guy. You know? Yeah. I mean, after a while, people are like, we don't want to deal with this anymore. Let's just get Chrissy and Giannis on. And, you know, I we'll love just Sam. bring morning radio. No, I like Sam too. Yeah, I'm he, just kidding around because he he's He's a friend, and he comments on our pictures. That's why I'm bringing it up, because Sam, I know, hopefully is listening. That's why we love and support. Yeah, well, you better be, because we're coming to take your job, so you better know what's coming to beat you up. <laughs> yeah. No, just kidding. I, I told Sam, yeah. He said, well. Sam, I'd love to have Sam Roberts on if he's yeah. ever available. Yeah, if, if Jim's available, come with him. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> That's <laughs> look We're just joking. It's a joke. It's well, that's why you could do it. A guy like Sam, at least, is really in comedy. You can fucking make a joke, and he's cool with it. Yes. A lot of other people, like, they want to sue you. Like, the other guy, John Fugel's gang or something like oh, that. Like, that he gets, like, mad at people yeah. for making jokes. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. At least you can, we can joke around. You're absolutely right. I should not continue to eat these on the podcast. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> the, the, people don't want to hear you. You're me, chewing. They don't want me to hear me eating dried apricots. Malaka. I mean, she, she, yeah. She, uh, Venetia brings healthy snacks no, from it's, Trader Joe's. No, it's a twofold answer. It's people don't want to hear it, and because I've been celibate and I'm horned up, me looking at your wet lips is not good. <laughs> Chris, no. <laughs> don't pure. Robot Venetia does not approve. Yeah, yeah. No, I told Sam, he was like, what are you two cuties doing in my studio? And we did the Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I said, cuz, I sniffed your seat, and you got no fumes. Good on ya. Good on ya. And did yeah. he write back? No, he didn't. No, he's a good kid. He's, a, he's, another, he's another guy that lives up in Westchester. Does he live in Westchester? Yeah, so listen, Yanni moved, and, um, and it's just been one of those things where— I moved to Westchester, generically. The generic Westchester. answer is Westchester. That's yeah. where he moved. And, but if, uh, we were lying about where I moved But before. for $500 tier on the Patreon, I'll give you his address. No, you won't, Chris. <laughs> no, you won't. Make it tier. Oh, wait. Speaking of Patreon— Chris, no. Let's say, um, let's tell him the, the good news, what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. About, about so, from our Fuhrer, Andrew Schultz. Here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. Mike forgot to do it because he's overworked. We got to wrestle we're away from for, Bobby. For, we're making, and yes. this, is, this is really, we hope, James L. Tucher, we hope you're listening, for $1 million, one, one million. million dollar tier. Oh, that we, was real? We will release the Tim yeah. Dillon oh, secret, sorry. the Tim Dillon secret episode will be released for $1 million. The $1 million oh, on I'm Patreon. Oh, i for it. Yes. You can do that, and we can also set up a payment plan, but $1 million if you want to hear the Tim Dillon secret episode. That's why I haven't sent it out to any of my friends. That's why I haven't sent it out to no one. For $1 million on Patreon, patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys for $1 million tier, we'll release the secret Tim Dillon episode that was too wild and crazy to ever be released to the public. But for a milli schmilly, you can download it and do as you please with it as long as a million dollar clears into our bank account. Right. Exactly. Uh, we're talking about, it's going to cost you one stick. It's going to cost you a stick. Yeah. One stick. Yeah. It's it's the Tim Dillon episode tier. Yeah. If you can afford one million dollars, it's yours. Yeah, and then me and me, and then we've already discussed me, Giannis, and Tim Dillon are gonna split up that one million, and Timmy's gonna invest it for us in subprime mortgages. Yeah, that's what we told them, <laughs> but we don't have a contract. If someone buys it, me and Chris are splitting that. Yeah, million. we're splitting it, and you're not gonna hear this podcast that's for no a while because we're moving to Turks and Caicos. Yeah. The only way you're gonna get your cut. <laughs> Uh, fucking Tim is if you introduce us to Rogan. Yeah, that's it. It's what it is. It's the only way it's going. Down. Yeah. So it's been, but yeah. So Giannis, Giannis moved, and it's been, uh, it's been a little wild. You know, I mean, Gian I own and, two fucking houses, and Giannis has been fucking around with me now because I said I texted him the other day. I was like, Hey, are you are you in the ridge? And he goes, Yeah. And then I was like, Okay, let's get coffee. Let's hang out. Let's. And then he sent me a picture of a place that where he was, which was not in the ridge. Cackle the whole thing. Why? Because it's close to where I live and people can't know. So just what are you talking about? I, pe I never said it. I know, but people are going to make the connection. What are you talking about? They're just going to make the connection. No, they and won't. You don't think so? I think no. they will. No, they won't. No, no? chance. No I chance? I didn't say anything. No. Okay. I said, I, said, I said you said you were in the ridge. And right. then I said you sent me a picture of where you are and that's nowhere near the ridge. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. You, said it, you said it really responsibly. I exactly. guess I was just like, Zach, I was waiting for the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. That's really it's funny. Stupid. I, I, I wish Young G and you and I wasn't even listening. I was just, I was just assuming you were saying it's something. It's what it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, because you, you look like a German kid. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about the Julian calendar today. Um, yeah, what is it? My fact. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Mike. Mikey thank you. He is coming with his H-A- Do we have the emojis? We're going to get them when we <laughs> film at my apartment on Saturday. <laughs> I'm going to have my baby go in there and find them. Okay, because I, I don't know where they are. I don't even know what the emo- I don't well, even remember the emotion. Well, here's the truth of the situation yeah. is I let, I, let, uh, I let the B-A-B-I play with them one day, and I don't know where they are now. <laughs> she might have flushed them all down the toilet. I don't know. The B-A-B-I found these funny faces and was running around with them, and I just let her do it because I was texting toots. Yeah. You, but now that, I'm not. That's a good lie that, was, that you get. That was two months ago. Let's be honest about what happened. You know you didn't let the baby play with them. I, oh, okay, once, I did, though. Once you saw that popsicle stick on the other end yeah. you know what you did with him yeah i know you what plugged I, him in your ass and you danced around like a little peacock it's what it is it's what you did yeah and you took pictures in the mirror with different smiling yeah, faces i did exactly what my dad ass. did i wrote leroy on those sticks and i stuck him in my ass that's what that's what you did and you know it yeah, it's just you know what it. i did yeah yeah and by the way we can't call somebody somebody you, christy's dating someone else her name is 620 it's 620 <laughs> As look at yeah, so it's what it is. Okay, what here, is, uh, yeah, here's here's Mikey Maggi's uh, Mikey Emoji's fact of the day. <laughs> Ever since I called him Mikey Maggi, you called him Mikey uh, Maggi, yeah, yeah, Mikey Mikey Maggi, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like, clean shaven today. He looks like a different looking kid. Looks like a seal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, since one AD, the year has slowed, and it's actually ten seconds slower from then. Wow. We've lost ten seconds since one AD. And how's that possible? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Sun, sun stuff? We should have asked Neil deGrasse Tyson that. Yeah, yeah. we should have yep. asked him. Um, and the Julian calendar was actually 365 and one quarter days. So it's all math stuff, really. Well, the thing is, we're going to talk about the calendar. And, and here's, the, here's the truth, right? Is we're going to talk about the calendar. And there are a lot of fascinating things. And New Year's Eve is fascinating. And all these times are fascinating. But it's just, you, it's all made by man. None of this is real, okay? It's conditioned. It's conditioned. Whatever cal- Three hundred a foreign concept is to have a four hundred day calendar like that. Some people say that goes against nature. No, it doesn't. The man made it all up. Yeah. To well, keep time, it, time is not real. Well, it, it's measuring how we go around the sun, so it's not just totally made up. It's it's to keep track of, of things for like know where the sun's going to be for right. Farming but uh, but like I'm that. saying like people like with a New Year's Eve, New Year's resolution or like it, oh, yeah. none of that is real. Even celebrating New Year's Eve, none of it is a real thing. It's just a thing man made up. Right. Yeah. But it does. It is like Mike is saying. It is based on something that is real. So it's like the Earth well, it's based on something in the universe. Yeah, the Earth goes around the sun, and we've broken up the year and and labeled it as such to mark one full revolution around the Earth. You know, I don't even funny? know if I believe it. You know, what's funny. <laughs> Much like the situation, we're not going anywhere. We're just going around in a circle. Yeah. So it's like we make fun of, of the situation a lot, but it's like, yeah, we're on a stationary bike. It's called life. Yeah, oh, that, co- that answers the question. It's, it sounds like it's slower because it slowly gets further from the sun. Yeah, because eventually we're going to spin out of the orbit and be out of the sun's gravity and the planet will die anyway. That's inevitable. You keep talking like that, we will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a real negative perspective. I'm sorry. That's yeah, no, not, not, if you vote for, not if you vote for fucking Hillary, it won't. Yeah. <laughs> Trump, Trump will make sure the fucking planet stays in the orbit. That's probably something he would say, too. He'd be like, you know what? You vote for me, all this fucking science bullshit, out the window. Yeah. That and whatever the Chinese has made up, out the window. We're keeping the sun where it's supposed to be in orbit. Yeah, so the early Roman calendar, first of all, Julian, the Julian calendar, it began January 1st, 45 BCE. Yeah, that's before Christ. Yeah, before. Which I'm not interested in that history, because my history starts when Jesus Christ came. Okay, because before that, you just had a lot of fucking guys talking a lot of shit down in Egypt and stuff that I'm not concerned with. My fucking history starts with JC, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. And my history class is called the Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah. In my, in my history class, your history class starts with Jesus Christ. My history starts 1776, when George Washington founded this great nation. Yeah, that's all we're concerned with. We're a couple kids from the outer boroughs. We're allowed of 14. Yeah, Sean Terry, Patrick Mulroney. Yeah, I don't even remember who's who, but with two kids, okay? <laughs> yeah. We're not from the city. That's okay, all you need piece. to know. Yeah. It's all you need to know. A lot of 14. Yeah, lot of four. BCE people. means before common era. Before oh, common. I thought it meant before uh, before Christ. It meant BC means before Christ, but then they yeah. changed it for people who don't believe in Christ. Oh, yeah. You see, everything's yeah. got to be fucking political. Like yeah, that. here we go. Yeah. yeah. I was well, born before... Um, what, uh, per, I, they should just change it to, I was born... 
born before a person, a person yeah. who identified as a man, yeah. who some people identify as the savior, but other yeah. people don't. I found as yeah. Whoever were- changed it from BC to BCE every morning for breakfast, they have a nice bowl of cucky charms. Yeah, you have a nice bowl of cucky charms. It's what it is, you're a cuck. Hi. Okay. So uh, the early Roman calendar it consisted of ten months and had three hundred and four days. Wow, okay, so only had 304 days. So the year was a squeak. So yeah, so the two months they, they lost two months. I hope one of those I hope they didn't lose August. That's my birthday. Mom. Yeah, that's me and Aunt Chrissy's birthday. Yeah. With each new year beginning at the vernal equinox. I mean, Mike's using big words here. And Mike's also checked out right now, fucking texting. No, uh, oh, I thought you were texting it too. No. Yeah. Okay. Um over the centuries, the calendar fell out of sync with the sun. Did it, because, Chrissy? Yeah, because they fucked up the math. Why why? Because there weren't Chinese kids around back then to do the math. <laughs> They left it up to a bunch of fucking Greek inbred incest fucks to do the math. And they, those Greek kids can't do math. Yeah, but, they can't but the Chinese kids can do the math. But guess what? Everything Roman is based on Greek. And listen, and everything in the world is based on the Roman. So a Greek people live at everything. Yeah. Because yeah. even the fucking astronomer that Julius Caesar used to fucking consult with to figure out his fucking calendar was a Greek kid named something Jerus. I think it was fucking a Jerus boy. Yeah, it's just what it is. Yeah, his name was Panayotis Yeras. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, the way Giannis fucking yells about how mighty the Greeks are. And he drives a Ford Fusion. Yes, look at us. Yeah, it's just what it is. Malaka. Okay. Um, so the Julian calendar was introduced by Julius Caesar, who was a great fucking kid, Julius yeah. Caesar, with a great haircut. He had a lot of good ideas. He had a lot of good ideas. So Julius Caesar, he wanted to solve the problem, and he consulted with prominent astronomers and the mathematicians of his time. But again, they weren't Chinese kids. There weren't gay kids or, or Chinese kids, so you can't have good astronomers or good mathematicians if you don't have the gays and the Chinese. The gays fucking love signs, what sign you are, and the, and the Chinese love to numbers. To yeah, talk. Some so gay, to jest. yeah, some guys like to bug chase, too. Yeah, it's what, yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking bug chaser. I was, I'm, I'm a reformed bug chaser. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, we've had many calendars. We've had many calendars other than the, the, the Julian calendar, which we use now. Um, we've had the, uh, the Babylonian calendar, gross. Uh, Hebrew calendar, yuck. Yeah. Egyptian calendar, gross. Greek calendar, gross. Chinese calendar, gross. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Venetian. Wait, 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 Wait. Yeah, yeah. Zach just was, yeah. Now, Venetia, what was the Greek kid's name? Do you remember from Alexandria? What was his name? Malaka. So is he like the chief engineer? So like basically Julius Caesar was like Steve Jobs, and he took all the credit for the calendar. But really, yep. it was, there was like a lot of freaking hardworking engineers who really made it happen. And this was the kid who really deserves the credit. Was it Greek? He's deaf. <laughs> Um, so Sihinus of Alexandria, that's where, and Alexandria was a part of Greece. Didn't that kid Alex- make an elevator? Wasn't he the first one? He like I think a Greek kid made an elevator in like 10 AD. I don't know, Must but this guy um, didn't we do the history of elevators or somebody? So I don't remember nothing. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to my world. Yeah, but that was the Greek kid from Alexandria yeah. who was basically who he consulted because was, yeah. um, before it was just 10 months, and that it started with the month March, which was really interesting, and then it, they kind of they counted like for example October, November, December, Okto. Which is eight right. in eight. Greek. Yes. November and Ya. Yes. And then. Oh, there was a month Yas? <laughs> and then. <laughs> yas, month. Yeah. Ten that go. So December was really, it's from Greek that is like right. ten. Right. And oh. the months used to be, they were Martius, Aprilis, Maya, Junius, Quintilis, Sextilis, September, October, November, December, Januarius, and Februarius. Yeah. Why don't we change the names to, from September, October, November, December? Because um, they came September uh, seven, October eight, November nine. Like it's the eighth. Like that's coming from Greek, right. Latin, right. more or less. So um, then they realized that uh, it's only three hundred fifty-five days. It's kind of messing up the year. Right. And he came in, and, and then uh, some of the names came from Roman goddess names. For example, Janus, J and Janus the Squeak, Janus, Janus, <laughs> Janus the Squeak, Aunt Janus Jan- Squeak, and Janus was the god of beginning. So January was used for the name of the first month of the year. So that's cute. Yeah, but let me uh, double-check my uh, thinking on this, but wasn't Janus the two-faced Roman god? I, I didn't think... Oh, and here's a cute little fact. March was the time the soldiers would begin war, so it was named after the god of war, 
Mars. Yeah. Nice. That's a cute little fact. Yeah. So well, wasn't Janus the two faced god? Like he had two faced? Because so he what? Did. So what is this? Um, the god of the beginning. Why is he? Is he? Did, is, did did he change as a god? Um, it says that he has two faces since he looks uh, to the future and to the past. But is he still the god of the beginning? Yes. I oh. guess it's like the beginning in the past. Yo, well. you got to admit, girl, the Roman gods are kind of whack. Like the Greeks, we had our shit a little more worked out. Okay? We had fucking Poseidon. He was the god of water. And that's it. And shout out Smithtown Water. God, Smithtown Water. <laughs> let me, uh, gorgeous babe, let me ask you a question. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Baby gorgeous. <laughs> Baby gorgeous. Let him, bro. Like whatever comes out of his mouth, it's just, he, it's just, you're a fucking, you're disturbed. I'm disturbed. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Sweet. Ask away, sweetie. So you're, you're really a peacock pussy. Today. If, I'm a peacock pussy. If you're if you're a little baby that was born on a leap year, uh -huh. February 29th, and that was your birthday, then when is your birthday? The other three years? Is it February 28th or is it March 1st? Babe, do I look like a mathematician to you? I don't know. I'm just asking because you got Chinese looking eyes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Wei Zhongshan. Wei Zhongshan. Let's ask the Chinese kid in our podcast. Well, yeah, Mike. I'll look that up, but yeah. The yeah. elevator question, Archimedes in uh, 3rd century B.C. Archimedes in 3rd well, century he created BC. a lever, but he didn't create an elevator, did he? He's uh, credited with the first elevator. Oh, okay. Yes, okay, Archimedes. Yeah, Arch Archimedes. And Archimedes. to your question, it's February 29th. Is they well, February 29th, February 29th like, is the leap year. People do, they choose. It depends on who you, like, the 28th or March 1st. They so you choose. get to choose it. Mm -hmm. Wow. B, when's your birthday? May 7th. Wow. You are you Taurus? I'm a Tavros, yeah. Tavros. Now, how would you? Uh, the baby's a Taurus. How would you? Um, He's stubborn like me. I'm very oh, stubborn. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. You're you're a dead Greek. ass. That's the Greeks' biggest asset and also our biggest weakness is stubbornness. But all Greeks are like that. Now, how would you pronounce Archimedes? Archimedes. Archimedes. This is. I'm just trying to appeal to the Greeks. Yes. We got to appeal to the Greeks. There's a whole segment out there that likes me but doesn't love me because I'm not a full Greek. Yeah. But now I've teamed up with Venetia, and she's going to act like our Greek translator. Yeah. We're going to do whatever video, and she's going to be there signing language in Greek. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're going to use her for because yeah. the Greeks don't speak any language except Greek. Yeah. So we got to sign to them. Do they do podcasts? Do the Greeks know how to do podcasts? The Greeks just yeah. think we're doing skits. They don't understand what we're doing. This is a true story. Me and Chris, we went to uh, Taverna Kikladis. Okay. Oh. The other day, we went to Kikladis. Yes, Claudia. Shout out to Kikladis, my one of my favorite Yo, restaurants. Yo, why didn't you hit me up? We could have gone. Because um, we were, doing we were already the, there. We do the Basement Yard podcast in Astoria, oh, yeah. which yeah, episode's yeah. coming out soon. Otherwise, we would have. But anyway, there was a fan there of us, and um, he was a Greek kid. And so Chrissy walked out, and at the end, I said goodbye to him. And he said to his friends, he goes, you know, you know Malaga, you don't know these guys? This is the Jersey Boys. Called he, us the Jersey Boys. <laughs> <laughs> he called us the Jersey Boys. That's how Greeks view, you know, they don't Fucking care. Stupid. Like Greeks, it's like they, if you don't have your own business, they don't really understand what you're doing. Right. And if you're not talking jokes about Greeks, they don't care. They don't if care. If it's it. not a comedy show that they can't come to with Yaya, with the children, right. with all generations, and the, you're not talking about the Mati the whole time, they don't give a fuck about what you're doing. Yeah. They don't even care about John Stamos, and the kid's a, a beautiful Greek-faced kid. Yeah. I mean, is he a hot kid? He's a hot kid. I'd like to rub Chobani yogurt all over him and lick it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could he get punched through? John Stamos will absolutely get punched through. Could he get punched through? What's the Chrissy D punch through list of 2019? Of 2019? Give me get, your top 10 guys who we'll get, get punched, punched through. through. Yeah. Well, numbers one, two, and three are Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's number one, that two, and That little three. fucking squeak will get punched through. Yeah. Now, um, we only got seven to deal with now. Yeah, so I got Tom Hardy, one, two, and three. They'll get punched through. Um, who else do I want to punch through? Um, 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 I'd like to punch through uh, LeBron James. That's number four. Yeah, number four is LeBron. He'll get punched through. Yeah. Um, I'll punch through um, Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Yeah, you start to get to anime things. You're a disturbed kid. You're a disturbed kid. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll maybe fifth or sixth on the list, I'll punch through Jessica Biel. Um, <laughs> and I, I think at one point, Simba, one of the people from the Lion King. Oh, right, Lion Nala. King Simba. Nala from the Lion King. Nala, I'll, I'll yeah. punch her through. You're fucking disturbed. I'll punch, uh, Elsa from Frozen, I'll punch through. Yeah, Jesus um, Christ. Yeah. I uh, said he couldn't do those because of your daughter. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So scratch those. So yeah, that's, that's, that's Pocahontas, a, little not Little Mermaid, but Ursula. Okay, right. But Ursula I'll punch through because she's older. Yeah. 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 And Ursula I'll punch through. And Joe S Santagato, you want to punch Joe through? Joe Santagato and I, Tom Santagato. Yeah, Joe and Tom Santagato from the basement yard, and Danny uh, Lapori from the basement yard. They're gonna get some of my warm glue on their backs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here's the deal with with Joe and Tom Santagato are pieces. Pieces. Those are two cute brothers that will get punched the fuck through. Yeah. And Danny will get punched through after a night of drinking in a bender. Yeah. Tom Sagato is now running our digital marketing, and make no mistake, he's gonna get sexually harassed in the workplace by me. Yeah. You. If Danny doesn't think that he's gonna get punched through, I'm gonna fog up those glasses. He's got another thing coming. He's got another thing coming. We're going to go through that basement yard studio and fucking fog up those windows and those glasses. It's what it is. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, Danny's going to have to go back on his fucking meds. It's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Real right. quick, uh, we made that clip of uh, from Pocahontas about all the cartoons you would have sex with. Yes, yeah. And a lot of people were upset you didn't pit Jasmine. Yeah, well, it's well, because it's a little for personal close, reasons. Yeah, I can't pers- do it. Yeah, it's a little close. I to, know yeah. Jasmine. Everybody knows Jasmine's yeah. the number one to get punched Wayne through, Sanchi. but legally I can't say that. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get a shit from the squeak. That's <laughs> okay. Jan the squeak. Jan the squeak. Jan the squeak yeah. will get upset if I say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's what it is. Saturn, the sun, moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, and Venus became Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, that's a cackle. Yeah. And yeah, and yeah. So you know where we're cackling. Yep. Yep. Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans didn't have an issue with days not lining up perfectly, but the Christian church wanted the church wanted to make sure that religious holidays they celebrated were on their actual days. And it's like, listen, Catholic Church, none of the holidays you're celebrating on the actual days, because none of the shit you're saying actually happened. So the Romans created this calendar. Wei Song Xian. They really did. The only thing that happened is Father Bill puts one off my uvula. Were you there when they sacrificed my Lord? Were you there when they sacrificed Chrissy? Were you there in the room when Chrissy was called to the back? Yes. Were you there in 1994? Yeah. The best thing about getting molested by a priest is, you know, you, you can't tell anyone about it. And then you just go home and eat chicken cutlets and mashed potatoes like nothing happened. Were you there? You just, I just had to sit down and eat my Stouffer microwave, <laughs> microwavable meal and just drink water and just listen to my mother talk about fucking Jeopardy. Were you there <laughs> when Chrissy went home late one yeah. day? Yeah, I took the body of Christ in my ass. <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> <laughs> Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Talking about favorite moments from the podcast. Here it is. That's got to be up there. Father were Bill. Father there? Bill, were you there when they sacrificed my Lord? They when Chrissy walked home late. Were you there when Chrissy's Catholic school outfit was a little disheveled? Yeah. Were you there when his mother said, Why are you late? He lied and said basketball practice ran long because Father Bill said if he said anything, he'd go straight to hell. Were you there when Chrissy blacked it out? When the memories came back and he said, I'm going to go to hell if I remember these things because Father Bill screwed me in. He screwed me in. Father Bill screwed me in. Shout out Lizzo. Shout out Lizzo. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were screwed in by a Catholic priest, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Yes, yeah, just what it is. It's es lo chaos. Yeah, so here we go. Um, now, um, at one point, the fucking calendar was 365.25. That's too long. That's too long, Venetia. Yeah, th- that, that calendar is Yanni long days. That's too long of a day. Sometimes I told, and you know what I told, you know what I told, um, because Yanni's got a new neighbor. Now, Yanni's, got, Yanni's got a new neighbor now that's also a comedian friend. And I told that comedian friend, I said, listen, when Yanni Long Day, here's what your life's going to be. Yanni Long Day is when you start seeing his Twitter at 3, 4 a.m. and he's tweeting shit out like the wheels of history or grease with blood. Just know that that day is going to feel like 26 hours and not 24. It's going to be a long fucking day. It's going to be day. a long fucking day. And that's what, the, that's what the calendar was. It was a long fucking day at one point. But then Pope, Greg, Pope Gregory the 13th took it upon himself to resolve the problem and came up with the Gregorian the Gregorian calendar in October of 1582. So they rectified the situation. They rectified it. Venetia, are trans women women? They're women. Yeah. Okay. What does robot Venetia say? Yeah. Are trans women women? I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's a big controversy right now. And You guys, that's inappropriate. So if, so if trans women are women, and I ask you, 
Are you a trans woman? What are you going to say? If I'm a trans woman, yeah. yep, I am a, I'm a woman. No, but are you a trans woman? I, yes, I am. I am. Because if trans women are women, then women are trans women. There's no difference. So you're Death also. Death has fumes. <laughs> are you a trans woman too? I'm a woman. Yeah. I identify See? as a woman. There's a little glitch in that. The problem is. I brought is, Yaya's cookies. No, the, <laughs> I brought Yaya's cookies. The problem is, is what we said on Tim Dillon's podcast is the separation of sex and gender. Yeah. That's where this well, thing's Why don't they just say it that way? Because it gets confusing. They're saying if you're not, what we're saying is, is you, the gender and the sex are different things. You, the gender is, can be whatever it wants. The sex you're born as, whatever you're born as. So they're saying that that's why a transgender woman can be a woman because they're saying that a woman is chosen. The, ge the gender is whatever you want it to be. It's T created by society. Tim said, Woke. It, th Tim said it's not even trans women who are generating this controversy. He said it's like all these other like non-binary people who are trying sure. to be whatever it is. Here's what I think. It's like trans women are trans women and women are women, and they're both beautiful things. What's the fucking problem? But also you got to understand, What's even, the fucking even problem? what we're doing here is, is we're getting, you're getting upset about, not upset, but you're asking these questions into the real world. You're posing these questions to the real world. Well, we don't live in a real world. Then. We don't live in a real world, and it's also like the minor it's such the minority of people that are on Twitter, 95% of people that are outside in the world right now, the only world that exists, the physical world that you can actually touch and feel, they don't know or care. They don't know or care. They don't. They're not, if a transgender person said, please address me as a man, then you'll be addressed as that because we. It, I got too much shit going on I don't care to either. care, man. It's like, I respect you for you. Whatever you want to do, you want to have a dick and make it a pussy, pussy, make it a dick. As long as you're happy, guy, But here's, or, here, or girl. Here's what I resent. I do resent that everyone's like scared to answer. It's like, what's going on with it's that? It's because some people don't know. Well, I mean, it's good. People no, I think are still it's, learning about No, because people are scared of that mob that's going to say you're a bad yeah, person. Yeah, because it's controlled by the media. Yeah, it's like someone's going to come after you and go, they said this, they're bad people. Fuck you. This is Fuck, There's no fucking good people out there. So if you, if you want to come after someone because they so said bullshit. something... Go fuck yourself, you little hypocrite, because when somebody cleans your closet, they're going to find some dirty sock. Guy, it's, the same, it's the same reason to go back to Shane Gillis, because we know he gets fired for saying something, uh, you know, about Chinese people, and then SNL will have rappers on that say that they want to choke and kill women. It yeah. doesn't matter. And it's then, just what's acceptable and what's not by the fucking media. Yeah, and here's a funny... It's all bullshit. Here's well, a funny fact. Just understand that. Here's a funny fact. Shane Gillis... For saying, uh, what did he say? Uh, he said uh, something on a podcast. He got dropped by his agency. UTA, which is the biggest agency in the world. Yeah. Jesse Smollett. Still with UTA. Who faked the hate crime. Yeah. Still with UTA. I saw Jesse Smollett at the, U at the UTA Christmas party. Yeah. So yeah. they didn't drop him for faking a hate crime. You know, and like if though there was two people they were going to accuse that of, he would have just went with that. And yeah. Been like those two guys did it. UTA kept him, but Shane Gillis said something on a fucking dumb podcast. Because the comedians are getting held in this regard, uh, you know, that it's like, yeah. but it's just whatever you want to be because the rappers can do what they want. And because whatever bullshit argument that, you know, some, uh, you know, sociologists will say, well, this is why they do that. And it's expression, whatever bullshit you want to come up with. It's just it's different. And just accept it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. We got the podcast now. We can say and do what we want. People are going to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and getting more and you know paying for more content. So it's like let them say what they want. They're all it's all a time that they're not meant to be here. I just don't what? understand how you could comfortably write about the character of somebody because they said something. It's like people say all types of things. And then you act like you can judge someone, like you can cast judgment on someone because they said something. Yeah, like you said when they ruined the you know, they called Giuliani's twenty year old assistant out for taking a picture with Trump. I mean, yeah, man, it's like this reporter They don't care about her feelings. This reporter t uh, reports on some twenty year old assistant. The story's about Giuliani. Yeah. Keep it about Giuliani, not somebody who tangentially is involved in his life. She's some twenty year old assistant. How is she relevant to the story about Giuliani? But it's like reporters will do that now. They won't think about the girl. They won't think about her family. They won't do anything. They will just fucking tweet it out mm -hmm. and think second. No vetting, no consideration, no saying, hey, this isn't really relevant. This isn't germane as, as, as it would be to the fucking story. It's just a, it's a sick, sick fucking time. And I don't know how you do that and look in the mirror. You cast judgment on somebody else. You know, it's like he who is without sin... Cast the first stone. 
I'm Jesus back from the dead, and I have a podcast. It's what it is. Yes. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus was a Greek kid. Well, it's the same thing. It's like there's nothing's changed about humanity. It's all the same. It's all the same story. It's just the vehicle is different now. Now you have the internet, so you can connect them. It's always been this way. It's yeah. the same thing. It's just somebody you know yelling about it from their TV in Idaho just couldn't really galvanize that many people, and now they can. So there's nothing different. It's just at the forefront now. It's yeah, just I mean, the same. These far-right kids, okay. they've always been around. It's the same story. They want to put people in chambers. They want to get rid of certain ethnicities. Those stupid, they've always existed. Those stupid fucks always keep popping their heads up and then on the extreme left you think this is new you think this whole fucking hey give me you know give me all your money all your taxes let the government run it it's not new it's happened before Mao did it fucking Che did it it's like it becomes a Stalin Stalin did it it's a very dark road to go down on either extreme so hopefully the center holds here Hopefully the center, the uh, reasonable people, because what's happened now is the majority's scared. Like right. Manatee, I could even see it in her face. She was scared to answer the question. Even though if you asked her privately, she would obviously say what the truth is. And that's what has happened to everybody on things that are just very fucking reasonable. Deadass. What? But I don't, un I don't understand the topic 100%, so it's not my place to answer it. Sure, yeah, I, you don't understand the fucking topic. <laughs> okay, I'll ask you plainly. Uh, let's say there's a now, ask Vo Robot Venetia. Yeah, I'll ask don't, Robot don't Venetia. Because, because, that, because Robot Venetia also lives in this world, but, you know, isn't real. Same thing like Twitter. Okay. Uh, uh, Robot Venetia, there's a, you know, God bless her. There's a, a cyclist. Uh, there's also a, an, uh, an athlete um, who's in track and field who uh, transitioned into a woman like three, four years ago and is competing with women who, women who are, bi I have to even say this, women who are biologically born women. And they're both, both these girls are cleaning up. They're destroying the competition. Do you think that's fair or not fair? Yeah. Venetia, we should love it. Yeah. Venetia doesn't want any part of that question. We should love it. We all know. I brought Yaya's cookies. If you're not for that. <laughs> I brought Yaya's cookies. Look, in the real world, if you're not for that, that doesn't mean you're transphobic. It doesn't mean you're against trans people. If you're against trans people, you're a fucking asshole. It's a great, beautiful thing to be trans. But when you say, hey, we got these women who were born women, biological women, and then this person who was a guy up until three years ago and then decided that I'm going to start taking, right. you know, these, these things, you know, hormone blockers and, and estrogen and stuff like that and compete with the women, you're going, okay, this is a gray area we need to talk about a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And 99.9% .9 of the people on the planet believe this. They don't want to live in, the, nobody wants to live in the gray zone. But there's these few people who will just automatically attack you and call you a transphobe because the thing that they found out is that people, you know, they don't want their, uh, uh, their reputation tarnished. And the internet is this place where you say things and people can just pluck it and take it out of context. But, the, but you, say, look what he said. But you all feed them, by res but the responses feed them, right? That's I'm just here to say, fuck you and yeah. fuck this whole era of that bullshit. It's all hypocritical. It's all made up. You can't judge a person by one fucking thing he said. And you know you're full of shit and fuck this whole hour. Absolutely. That's, why, that. that's why you have these right-wing reactionaries taking control. Because yep. what you're doing is not not working because you've woken up the equal but opposite fucking reaction and that's donald trump here that's this fucking exactly. kid, boris something in, in england and then there's another one in australia because most people want the exact same thing most people majority of people are people that are in the gray zone and they don't pick either extreme they want they want the same things they want free health care for everybody and they want the wall that's what it is. <laughs> a little bit of both a little bit of both it's okay. they both make sense yes. to me we should have single payer health care that's right should have single payer health care there should be a vetting process for immigrants it doesn't have to be a wall but it's like these are just things that come on and I think you legally shouldn't be allowed to discriminate against anybody. I think that's a limit on freedom. You shouldn't be able to say, hey, I, I don't want to hire this person for this reason. I believe in those civil, those civil protections. Absolutely. But now when we start getting into this kind of like make-believe thinking where you're going like just, there's science and reality don't, don't play a role, I'm going like, guy, I, this is scary. This is scary the way you're trying to ch socially engineer and change like reality. You're going like, come on, this is getting ridiculous, man. Yeah, agreed. You know? So... Woke. You know, there has to there, there has Shout to, out Lizzo. There's got to be a little, like, civil... Woke. There needs to be civil pushback. You need civil pushback where people just go, hey, man, I'm just going to say no to that. I'm just going to say no. You can say that and believe that, and you could come at me all you want and call me a bad person, but the more people that speak up, the more it's going to be harder to just call people bad people. Yeah. The reason why it's easy now is because everyone's scared. Mm. Everyone's quiet. So if somebody does it, everyone just piles on, and every it's like a crazy person on the train. 
That's what the internet sure. has become. It works that way on train cars, and it works that way on the internet. You know, on the internet, there's like a crazy person who starts screaming, right. and everyone's just like pretends it's not there. Well, the other hard part is the people who automatically agree aren't the people that you agree with either. So what do you mean? Like the people who are like, yeah, they're not people. Like that's not what I said at all. Exactly. So they ruin it for everybody because yeah. that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, hey man, just like tone it down. Stop trying to fucking bully people. You're being a crazy person on a train right now, mm -hmm. and for some reason, those rules apply to Twitter. As they do on a, a train. There's something in human nature where people are just like, God, I don't want to deal with this. But then what happens if you allow that to keep happening, you know, we start to get into some dark places. Yeah. You know, so it's like people need to just really not be scared to say things civilly and go, hey, man, I respect and love trans people. I support it. I support the, 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 the legal defenses for them to have civil rights. But for you to tell me that women and trans women are the same, it's not true. I'm sorry, it's not true. They're a little different, and that's fine. It doesn't. There's nothing wrong with that. But right. if you're telling me trans women are the same as a woman, then you're defining women out of existence. There's a difference. By you implying I can't say a trans woman is a trans woman, you're the one who's implying there's something wrong with it. Because if there wasn't something wrong with it, why am I not allowed to say it? Right. Woke. Speaking of choosing sides... Um, what side do you think was correct? I just had the to get some things off the chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Julian. Uh, I brought you his cookies. <laughs> Which calendar do you guys agree with more? The Julian calendar or the Gregorian calendar? I, I like the Julian calendar just because I like his. And a guy, I like a guy with a, a Caesar haircut. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If you notice, they all had Caesar haircuts for like a thousand years. The hairstyle didn't change. Yeah. It's, I like a guy with bangs. You would think at one point some guy would say, hey, why don't you try just fucking pushing it back and see what happens? Yeah, see what happens. Well, they did. They tried pushing it back, see what happens. And then six million people died. I didn't oh. get that one. It was the German. It was the Holocaust because the Germans pushed their. Wait, 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 so okay, we could just edit it out. Yeah, I didn't even understand joke. that one. Yeah, <laughs> it was so, just a swing and a miss joke. What can you do? But that's the that's the thing about you, cause you're Vladimir Guerrero. Sometimes you take big swings with that big butt, and they either clear the fence, yeah. or, or you fall down. It's just what it is. Yeah. You gotta take shots. You gotta take fucking. You miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take, and if you do take certain shots that the hospital has to give you, chlamydia goes away. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> there's different type of shots you can take. Different type of shots. Different, that solve different problems. They solve different issues. Yeah, I got no more drip. What do you like, Venetia? So, do you like Gregorian or, or Julian? Um, I like the Gregorian, but uh, I thought it was interesting that the English uh, the and the British colonies didn't uh, rec uh, recognize it until 1752. So basically, there was like 11 days difference between both. So a lot of things that are written in history have uh, different dates. Like, for example, Isaac Newton has uh, two dates for his birthday. The 25th of December, 1642, and the Gregorian uh, calendar states that he was born January 4th, 1643. So, well, you know, when's his real birthday, guys? Like always, it's the Catholic Church that came in here and messed everything up mm -hmm. <laughs> because everybody was okay. They were okay with this, you know, with, with, uh, with the year being a little longer, or whatever. And then the, the Catholic Church is the one that came in and they said, hey, we don't like this because we want to make sure our religious holidays are celebrated on their actual days. Yeah. Like it matters. Like it matters. Like it fucking matters. Yeah. So All right. in October 1582, Pope Gregory took it upon himself to resolve this problem. And that's when the Gregorian calendar came to be. Yeah. So yeah. right now, what is it? It's a combination of the Julian and Gregorian. It's a combination of all, uh, like, the Hebrew, the Chinese. Um, so it's kind of, like, evolved. It's, we have a trans calendar. Yeah. In a way. Our calendar's trans. Yeah. No, it's not trans. It's, it's a it, calendar. It's a, it's a calendar. It's not it's different. It's okay. not trans. It's okay. a calendar. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, listen. That was actually a great fucking moment right there. That was about calendars? Yes. So listen. At the end of every episode, what we like to do is read out that, well, not what we like to do, what we, what we guarantee is when you join our Patreon, patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, and you create a funny name, we, well, any name, we read out all the newest members of the Patreon. We encourage you guys to make a funny name, but if you can't think of a funny name, who cares? You can change it later, and then maybe we'll read it, maybe we won't. It doesn't matter. We just, you just want to hear your names read out. So we got the names, and some of them are really, really funny. And then we're going to pick the best one, and we call it the PPW, the Pseudo Penis of the week, okay? Because hyenas have pseudo penises. So here we go. Brett, straight non toot that. I'll boot, scoot, and boot your flutes from Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Oh, he's a, he's a Canadian kid. Brett, straight non toot. That'll boot, scoot, and boot your flutes from Saskatoon. 
Very good. Nice. Very good, but I'm saying it's a Clyde Drexler, even though we're starting with it. Big Al, cattle, Big Al catapult me over the wall with the witch hazel, and I'll clean my ass. <laughs> He'll do it himself when he gets to the other side. Patty, like okay. Patty fly balls, deck the halls, tuck back my balls. Yeah, that's a winner. That's a winner. Could be the, he's the front runner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Then we got Hunger Martinez. Okay. That's a goodie. Yeah. That's Dylan, a- full of fumes, Lil Peace, gambling prob in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Up there? I think he just took the lead. These are it's a horse race. That kid's in got the it. lead. Then we got non tootie turkey slurpy cutie. That's a real yeah, good yeah, Cl- buddy. Cl- Clyde Drexler. Uh Yusuf, not a muzzy, got a situation with a couple Hispanic mothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the originality is getting off the charts. He's no. in contention. Then we got Danielle LaPierre. Sounds like peace. Yeah, straight to the back. Then we got Tyler Turkey with a Leroy Slurpee taking glue naps on the Love Sack O'Sullivan. I mean, is he the winner? He might Jesus be. Jesus uh, Christ. He's char- he's so good. Then we got Shane California Wasp with an average piece star. Uh, that's a yep. goodie, but he's a wrong error. Then we got Dan. Then we got Dan. Make no mistake, I rigged the election. Potaski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just caught me off guard. He's a goodie, but he's not. He can't. He can't compete with the other guys. Then we got uh, Lexi Chachiato, which is funny because she's got a Ginzo last name. Always. <laughs> then we got Dennis Non Toot Ursula's Blowies receiver, Lil Mermaid's Fin Pussy Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> are they back? In, are, yeah. That. I mean. That, I mean. I They're could close. Give, I could give her the crown or him the crown. Okay. Then we got Jesse. <laughs> then we got Jesse. Ethnically ambiguous last name. Then we got Jesse, ethically ambiguous last name, but definitely half a sauce monkey. That's a goodie, goodie. Wrong, wrong arrow. Then I get um, Garrett. I just want to hear Chrissy try to say my last name, Kosmarsic. Uh, You know, <laughs> that's a good one because... K-A-C-M-A-R-C-Y-C-Z-Y-K. Polish kid. You're a Polish kid. You're a Polish kid, and that's a lot of self-awareness. I'm giving that an honorable mention. Yeah, here we go. Fuck impeachment, Trump 2020 for life, make America cute again. I mean, that kid's just going straight to the point for what he it's likes. just what it is. Then we got Josh. That, we got to put him on a different list. Yeah, that kid, called, it's called the watch list. Yeah, yeah, that kid's on the watch list. Yeah. <laughs> then we got Josh CBK Thomas. Straight to the back. Elijah Milton. Straight to the back. Elijah's a nice name. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice style. Then we got Caps Lock, Daniel Crack Me Open, and Gorilla Gloomy Back Morales. It's a goodie. Yeah. It's a goodie, but it's a Gorilla climb. Gloomy Back is funny. Real good. Eunice Lee, nice. Hello, welcome, Asian. Straight to the back. Adam Cristellini. How you doing? I got the garlic. I got the garlic for you. Then we got Carly, Nicholas Moore. Wow, wait. Oh, hey, Carly. Hey, Josh. Who's Nicholas what? Nicholas Moore. Straight to the back. Straight to the back. Carly, um, Josh, uh, Enrique F.F. (laughs) Favela. See, a nice simple one like that once in a while is refreshing. Then we got half Rican, half Muzzy, 100% Cuzzy. I mean, yeah. I mean, do you like so- that? How someone hasn't hit that one yet? Yeah. I mean, I may have to go with him with, as the winner. Okay. Then we got Saza and Selena. Okay. Yeah. Anthony DeCibio. Straight to the back. Straight to the back. Kids probably from Long Island. I mean, yeah. Then we get um, can't think of a good name. I'm an FF. Send me to the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, creative points. You may have to give the creative points to him. Uh, then we got Greg, broke up with my chick to get cracked open by true FF Lorenz. Yeah. Nice. Clyde Drexler. Uh, Christine, Egyptian, but not a muzzy sailor. Very nice. Nice. Clyde Drexler. Uh, this guy says, Andrew, I live in the back, voked. Okay. Straight to the back. Or Voight. Um, Fariel, a toot for life, but a non toot for the boys, Abbas. Straight to the back. Uh, kind of Clyde Drexler. Then we got Robin Negretti, Mary Callahan, Nathan Martinez, Jacqueline Henry, Alex Faison, and then Joey Uncut, Not Unclean Walls. <laughs> not, not Good one. one, one, one also, Clyde letter. Drexler. Huh? M. Oh, and M. Then we just got one letter M. I like M. All right, I guess that's, that's V for Vendetta. So who wins? Yeah. Oh, God. I think I'm going with the Cuzzy Kid because it's just the originality, how the simplicity plus the originality. So you're like half Rican, half Muzzy, 100% Cuzzy. Yeah. Just, and that's good. That's a nice diversity pick, too. Yeah, but... um. Listen, that was a that was a, that was a, that was an awesome list. That's awesome. More than Tyler Turkey with the Leroy Slurpee taking glue gaps on the Love Cycle Sullivan. I mean, that's a goodie. That's you want to vote? I, let's yeah, let's vote. Uh, my guys for the Cuzzy. Wh- who do you what do you like, Chrissy? Um, who do I like? The best I like. Um, I like Patty Fly Balls deck the halls tuck back my balls. That's a goodie too. Yeah. So that's one vote for him. What do you, so like, do you like? B? What are you here for? 
What are you here for? I was here for the Cuzzy one. Okay, so that's 100% two. Cuzzy. The Greeks right. are on one side. Oh, I'm here for it. Zach? Yeah. I like the Muzzy. All right, yeah, he all likes right. the Muzzy, so yeah. he's the winner. Yeah. Half freaking half Muzzy, 100% Cuzzy. Yeah. There we go. All right, patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, historyhyenas.com for all our merch and live tour dates, christycomedy.com, all my live tour dates, Giannis Poppity Comedy, Giannis Poppus Comedy.com for all his live tour dates. What's up, V? Say again? Sponsors. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. This is getting. Yeah. Oh, well, the f- Tank Sinatra. Well, let's just say about Tank, he was on Ellen. Tank's good news. Check it out. We love Tank. He's a, he's a real sponsor. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, yeah. Tank Sinatra and James L. Tutra are our real sponsors. Tank Sinatra, <laughs> at Tank's good news. Yeah. Um, Tank's good news. And um, uh, uh, at Tank Sinatra. And then James L. Tutra owns a stand-up, uh, owns stand-up New York. He told us, don't, whatever. He told us whatever yeah. we want to say about it. And then the rest of our sponsors, $100 sponsors. I mean, seriously, it's like you're giving us a hundo. We're way too big for this shit already. So uh, I appreciate it. I mean, nutrition made fine, fucking whatever bullshit. Can we just post the $100 sponsors on Patreon and they're just there? I mean... You know, it's like after a while, it's just like, what do you want me to say? Nutrition made fun. Dr. Sandra is easy. Who wants to do fucking stand up? Nice Street Auto Collision on Long Island. CBD script. I mean, you know, what, what's the other one? Yeah. Well, you, it's taking up too much time. Dr. Harvey Spencer cracked me up. A healthy, smile. happy smile in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We got Nutrition Made Fun with Mac Coke. Yeah. Go follow him on Instagram. We got CBDscript.com. Check him out. Promo code Hyenas15 or Wild. I can't remember. Yeah. And uh, the other one you go to is, uh, of course, Lakeside Maple. Sure, is- yeah, that's a decent one. He should be at 500, though. Yeah, I mean, that kid's I can't be- wait till 2020 comes because these guys, the, the money's going up. Yeah, the money's just going up, guys. We hope you enjoyed 2019. You did help us. We always respect you. Venity is going to make you an offer. Either you can't refuse or refuse because it's a good deal. Yeah. It's a good deal, but we do we do appreciate. Well, let's just give a second in 2019, Chris. It, uh, Chrissy can't do it, but we will. Me, yeah. Benatia, Zach, and Mike will ap- take a moment to appreciate. Thank you so much for getting us off the ground, guys. I'm talking to you, Sandra Azizi, the the GI doctor, Doctor Souls on Instagram and YouTube. Thank you to Lakeside Maple, our favorite trail mix company. Uh, you know, go go go! Put in a promo code LakesideMaple.com. Get yourself some Lakeside Maple. Uh, d- thank you to Dr. Harvey Spencer Jr. with uh, ha- Happy Healthy Smile Cosmetic Dentistry down there in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Thank you to Ninth Street Auto Collision out there on all- Long Island in Huntington Station. Look them up. It's not on Ninth Street. Uh, that kid's marketing is horrific. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who did I forget? That's it. Uh, Sager? Yes, Sager. I said, I said, Sager's Sager's easy. Sager's shout out to Dora Rushbashka. No, he's not with <laughs> yeah. us anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. listen, if you, if what was his website? What do we make him saying? Live from the sandbox. Live sandbox. <laughs> dot com. I think we're forgetting one sponsor, though, no? Um, said them all. Who did we lose? We lose. We lost Fedora, and who else did we lose? Just, just Fedora. He's yeah, he's the, the only rest, one. The rest of them have stayed with us. Guys, here's the deal. I'm just gonna say it on air. If you want to stay for us in 2020, you're gonna get one shot out a month at the price that you're at. That's. But otherwise, if you want it every week, you gotta move up to where Tank and James Alzu- Altucher live. Yeah, Tank and J- James Altucher live in the $500 level. And if you guys really want to get wild and show your support, then you can join the million dollar tier and get the Tim Dillon <laughs> secret episode. Yeah. And also, we'll read your name out on the podcast. Yeah, so <laughs> they, it'll, it'll call you. Yeah. yeah, we'll call you. You get everything the twenty five dollar members get, plus the Tim Dillon secret pockets for a million dollars. And listen, <laughs> thank you to every single one of our matriarchy members at patreon.com slash Bayridge Boys. You are the reason why we're doing this podcast. Don't forget that. In twenty twenty, that's how this shit works. Keep us going. Every one of your subscriptions, it all adds up. Uh we have increasingly taking this podcast more and more seriously because of you. This is a family. It's a community. Talk to each other. Keep posting content on the Patreon. It's cracking me and Chrissy up. So we love you guys. We hope you have a happy, healthy, safe yes. new year. Have a help, happy, healthy, safe new year and be excited for 2020 because it is four more years of Donald Trump. <laughs>